Hey, no one but Omertas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. You'll get these back on your way out. Hello, and welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? I knew someone would call in that mark soon. What do you want to know? All I can tell you is to find Kachino. He's the lowest level lieutenant you're going to be able to talk to. Some of the girls say he's been involved in some shady business the family wouldn't really like. Ask him about it. Bye. I hear you've been asking questions about me, dickweed. What the fuck do you want? I banged Lot's wife and licked a salty ass. The fuck do I look like? I'm the one asking the questions here. Now tell me why you've been dropping my name before I get some muscle over here and we find a private place to talk. Business? What the fuck do you mean, business? You looking to get yourself burned? Now you start talking real clear, and I mean fucking crystal clear, because I'm about to lose my patience. Damn right you're sorry. You again? What the fuck do you want? Business? What the fuck do you mean, business? You looking to get yourself burned? Now you start talking real clear, and I mean fucking crystal clear, because I'm about to lose my patience. I don't give half a dick what you heard. Now get the fuck out of my face before I burn your sorry ass. You again? What the fuck do you want? Where the fuck did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? What can I do for you? Okay, you got me by the balls. Here's a couple hundred caps. Maybe that'll buy you friendship. I can pay you for it, of course. I also have some information about the family's business that you might find interesting. Between you and I, we can break up what they're planning, maybe save some lives. Mine included, of course. Oh, here's some caps. Now give me the journal. Right, there we go. So let me tell you what I know about the family's business. The bosses, Big Sal and Nero, have been working for a while on this. They're arming themselves like an army, using this new guy, Troik. They also brought in a specialist named Clandon. At least that's what they introduced him as. I got no fucking idea. They let him have the run of the place, though. He seems like a nice guy, but he makes me nervous. He's a little arrogant, but he's too nice. Too open. I've never seen him fucking a gambling. Everyone has a vice, but this guy seems like the Pope. Okay, toss him at me. He's a skittish little fucker. Spends half the day pumping his body full of chems and the other half pumping hookers with his willy. He has some kind of connections, so he's able to smuggle huge shipments of weapons into the Strip. The bosses got him by the short hairs. We covered up a hooker he killed while flying on some psycho, so he gets us guns in exchange for not ratting. Okay, toss him at me. No, just that it involves guns and muscle. Also that it's big. Very big. Only Nero and Big Saul know everything, and they ain't telling. 
Okay, you can find me here or upstairs in my room. I'll let the muscle know you're a friend of mine. That should let you get around a little easier. Bosses don't like no trouble in their place. Looks like the war's ratcheting up. I hear the NCR's bringing in. Hey, nice to meet you. Do you need help with something? A little bit of this and a little bit of that. I'm a close friend of some of the family around here. I do some independent contracting around the casino, and they set me up with this great room. I think I should kill you before you have a chance to show those tapes to anyone. What do I have to lose? All right, give me the tapes and I'll leave. I'm going a long way away from Vegas, but you better hope that you and I never see each other again. Be sure to check out the courtyard. Some of the hottest asses in New Vegas shaking out there.
Who are you? I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. I don't see how that's your business. I'm just a guest here, having a little fun. Oh, man. I don't even like to think about it. All that goddamn blood. It was just in the hotel like any other night. I took some chems with the girl I was with, but I never black out. I did this time, though. Next thing I knew, I woke up, she was lying next to me, stabbed dead. There was a knife next to the bed, and I was covered in her blood. I keep a little switchblade tucked away with me. You never know when you might find some trouble. All right, have at it. That night, mostly buff out, I like to cut it with a little bit of jet and wash it down with some whiskey. That was my standard Saturday night. What? Yeah, you're right. I wonder what was up with that. What do you want to talk about? Cachino? Cachino what? Are you kidding me? He must be trying to get me killed. Yeah? Well, fuck that. The bosses have my number and I'm a company man while they got the goods on me. Great. So I'm fucked either way. I guess I don't have any choice but to help you. Just try not to get me killed here. They're keeping them in a little utility section down off the basement. I don't know what they're arming themselves for, but I know it isn't for the good of mankind. I'm pretty proud of myself. It's a stroke of genius if I could be so modest. The whole arrangement starts with an old buddy of mine in the Republic. He's responsible for packing and shipping supplies to the NCR on the Strip. He marks some containers as food and medical and packs them with guns and other shit. From there, it took just a couple of greased palms to get someone to let me cherry pick a container or two out of every shipment. Easy as pie. Okay, try and be fast about it. As a little pet project, I've been making some thermite. Thermite burns as hot as the devil's asshole and can melt through just about anything. I've been keeping it so if the family betrays me, I can hopefully do some damage before I end up dead or in jail. Okay, here's the thermite and a key to the room where the guns are stored. Place the thermite on the crates in the room. I rig the light switch outside the room to kick off a spark big enough to hold the thermite. That should turn that shit into molten slag. As soon as we're done talking, I'm gonna make myself like a ghost. I don't wanna be anywhere near here when the bosses find out. Thermite is a mix of rust and aluminum dust. If you add a little heat, a massive amount of heat is spit out. It gives off enough heat to melt through just about anything. It should make short work of the weapons. Okay, cool. I tell you, not at home is gonna have his day. Hey, what can I do for you? Whoa, you managed to pull that off? Solid work. That ought to gum up the boss's plans. Oh, is that right? Well, I guess if he's gone, he's gone. I don't need to know anything more than that. Now we cut off the head of the serpent. Big Saul and Nero have to die. 
They're a little bit upset about what's been done to muck up their plans. They tasked me to find out who's responsible. There isn't gonna be another chance to get both of them together in the same room. I'll slip you a gun, and we can take them out. All right, I'll take care of them. Just give me the word when to start shooting. Hurry and get ready. I'll be waiting for you there when you're ready. I'd wager that the Army's sending elite units our way, right as we speak. I wouldn't mind taking a bite of you. I wouldn't mind taking a bite of you. Things are getting stranger every day. Hey there! Can I get you a drink? Maybe a party favor? Sorry, it's not my business to get involved. Here you go. Another satisfied customer. All right, at Gamora, the bar is always open. The fuck are you looking at? I'll take care of them when you're ready. Just say the word. I suggest doing it while they're talking. Let's have to some words. On. Take a seat on the couch so we can get to talking. So I assume you know why we called you here. Yeah, clan will be hard to replace, but not impossible. We'll find contractors just like them, without breaking a sweat. Are you shitting me? You didn't even know what the plan was. Yeah. As a last request, I guess we can give you that courtesy. The fuck? I knew there had to be someone higher up helping you. Nero, you backstabbing. Two-timing motherfucker. I knew this day would come. Yeah. Hey. Things are good since Kachino took over. Hey, thanks for all the hard work back there. I'm gonna run a tight ship here, don't you worry. Of course, after all you did for me, here are some chips for you. Play, have some fun. Bye. I got kicked out of Ultralux the other day. Man, that place gives me the fucking freaks.
What do you have to report about the Omertas? Well done. They won't be causing any trouble then. Your next assignment is to locate and destroy remnants of the Mojave chapter of the Brotherhood of Steel. The NCR nearly did the job at Helios 1 a few years ago, but there seem to have been survivors, unfortunately. Given the Brotherhood's fanatical views on technology, they can be counted on to oppose my regime. Please, put them out of my misery. You're absolutely right. You must have had run-ins with them, as have I. Since 2278, I've lost five roaming Securitrons near Hidden Valley. I didn't receive any clear video of the incident, but telemetry from the units destroyed indicates they were attacked with energy weapons. It's obvious that the Brotherhood has a base in Hidden Valley or thereabouts. Finding it won't be easy, but getting inside will be the real trick. From time to time, the NCR has assaulted Brotherhood bunkers. In four of the six incidents I know of, the bunkers self-destructed. I surmise it's standard practice for the Brotherhood to install a self-destruct system. It's consistent with their uncompromising nature. You might use that against them, or kill them another way, it's up to you. Return when it's done. Goodbye.